Hello everyone, I welcome you all to study school. It is 9 a.m. which means it is time for your daily dose of vocabulary with me. The session is going to be under 5 minutes and it comes every day exactly at 9 a.m. We come up with a boost of vocab for you guys so that every day your morning start with good new words, different words that have high probability of appearing in your exam. The word you're going to see here are taken from the Hindu and if you have yet not subscribed to our channel then make sure to do that and do not forget to hit on that tiny bell near it so that every day when this session comes you will get notified and you can become a part of this session and in just 5 minutes you could gain all of this and your morning could start with a good motivation and good learning. Coming to the first word for today we have the word relentless. Relentless means not stopping or changing. When you're not giving up, you're determined and you're not going to stop or change. And you're going to be doing the same thing with the same amount of effort. Okay. Here, the example or the sentence says, the sun was relentless and the heat reflected cruelly of the parched earth. Here, we see a word parched. Okay, parched. What does this word mean? You are going to tell me the meaning of this particular word in the comment section. We might also use sometimes the word parched as I need water because I am feeling parched. Here is a hint for you guys and make sure to answer this in the comment section. I'll be curious to know how many people know the meaning of this word parched. Coming back to the word that we were discussing, relentless. Here you could also see the image that depicts the meaning. It says relentless, remaining strict or determined. So you are not stopping, you're not changing and you're determined to reach towards your goal. That is how you should be when you're trying to reach any of your goals. You have to be relentless and your efforts should be constant. Okay. Coming to synonyms, we have grip, we have unmated and we have constant. Okay. The next word that we have is curve. Curve means to limit or control something, especially something bad. So you're trying to control or limit something you're trying to stop that something which is not very good okay just like if you see the example here of unemployment unemployment is a problem that our government is trying to curb for a long period of time okay because of that reason to curb that particular problem to limit that or to control this unemployment issue our government comes with lots of schemes. They come with a lot of schemes. They come with n number of schemes every year and also monthly. Your government comes, your state government also is there. They come up with such kind of schemes. Okay, so that they could curb this issue of unemployment. I hope the meaning is clear. Coming to the example we have, he needs to learn to curb his anger. So he needs to know how he could control or limit his anger. Coming to the synonyms, we have restrain, we have damper and we have limit here. Next word that we're going to discuss is evoke. Evoke means to produce a memory, feeling, etc. in somebody. So you're trying to regenerate or you're trying to produce that memory, that feeling that somebody might have because of their previous experiences. Okay. Here coming to the sentence we have for me that music always evokes hot summer evenings. So whenever I listen to that kind of music, that particular music, it brings back the memories of summer evening, sitting, uh, you know, sitting by the beach, drinking something cold, like that kind of memories. Sometimes it happens when you open, just like the picture depicts, okay, if you open a book that you might have read or, okay, a book like Harry Potter and you open that book and you start it, then you can... You know, remember all that feeling when you had it, the memories you had it while you're reading as a kid and now. Okay, even we have picture books or you have your uh, book where you store uh, back then we had pictures clicked. So whenever you open a photo album, you kind of get that memories are evoked. The feeling with your families, when you went outside with your friends, all of these memories, feelings, they evoke. Coming to the synonyms, we have someone, we have idiose and we have criminate. Here, idiose is different and I stama that so that you all can pay extra attention to it. Next word we have is appeasement. Appeasement means giving people what they want to prevent them from harming you or being angry with you. 
so you're trying to give people what they want so that there could no, uh, could not be any collision no party is angry they're not trying to harm you so you just give them so that you prevent that kind of harm to yourself okay coming to the sentence we have the price of appeasement as history has taught us is too steep is too steep it's too deep okay the synonym jar mollify we have pacify and we have falsity okay all of them are important all of them are different some these are the words you might not see a lot pacify you might but other words are very different so we'll start mark them and they're important as well next word is shrift shrift means the confession of sins to a priest or the hearing of a confession by a priest so uh, at times it happens previously also it used to happen now also they have a confession room in church where you can go there and confess your sins to the priest okay the example says shrift and forgiveness was only granted once the woman admitted what she had done to her priest so it's ancient time that time forgiveness was granted only when you have uh, you know admitted to whatever you've done wrong the synonyms are atonement penitence and retribution here atonement and penitence are important next word we have is corollary corollary means a situation a statement or fact that is natural and direct result of another one so it's very clear a statement of fact that is very clear it, it is a natural and direct result of another okay coming to the sentence we have the huge increases in unemployment were the corollary of the expenditure cuts so when you see expenditure cuts are there then obviously there'll be a rise in unemployment so that was corollary so that was a direct result of what happened direct result of your expenditure cut so you are reducing your expenditure obviously the problem of unemployment is going to increase okay so this is what the sentence is coming to your synonyms we have ramification we have consequence and we have outcome it could also here corollary could also be replaced by consequence so the huge increase in unemployment were the consequence of your expenditure cuts So you had high expenditure cuts because of which the consequences led to a high increase in unemployment. Okay, next we have expulsion or expel. Okay, you must have heard this word expel as well. Okay, expel or or expulsion. This means the act of making somebody leave a place or an institution. So you are asking somebody to leave that particular place or an institution. So you are expelled from that particular institute. The sentence says. there have been three expulsions from school this year so in this year three people were expelled from the school the picture depicts the same in a very easy way the synonyms are exile removal and expulsion here expulsion is important and exile is also important next we have the word for the day which is mandate mandate is a very simple word you might have heard it in your daily life as well so you're going to tell me the meaning of this particular word in the comment section as well as the synonym of this particular word okay i'll be looking forward to how many guys participate and are actually learning and getting something out of this session please if you do make sure to answer all the things that we asked in the comment section lastly if you like our video make sure to like it okay share it with all your friends in the comments answer whatever we asked and if you have any other feedback make sure to mention that as well okay Lastly do not forget to subscribe to our channel it gives us that motivation to keep on growing and coming up with such sessions for you guys with that being said i'll end it here thank you for watching